The vice president, Dr. Mahmoud Bomia, and Saba Bonti, and the Serbian studio, 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 you know, uh, cavalierly. Uh, I, I, there, there was thinking to that statement, and I want that people to think about it. For the first time in our history as a country, you know, we have a unique identity system, you know, which is biometric. Uh, so we can uniquely identify every individual, whether they are alive or dead. Right? We can uniquely identify every individual. So immediately, if you can uniquely identify each individual, the case of ghost names on our public sector payroll will become a thing of the past. Immediately. Once we, we do it, and I'm working with controller here, uh, we're doing a lot of good work on, on the controller payroll database and cleaning it up. We, if you look at what has happened recently, National Service Scheme, we found 14,000 ghost, ghost workers, saved annually 114 million Ghana CDs to the public exchequer. From 14,000, just from what National Service, 14,000 ghost workers, because they, we look for unique identity. And just a couple of days ago, SNIT reported finding 27,000 ghost pensioners. 27,000 ghost pensioners. And they were being paid 327 million Ghana cities a year. Two institutions, you add a yearly savings that these discoveries have made, just in two institutions, 441 million Ghana cities. Over 10 years, you are talking of over 4 billion Ghana City. This is just two institutions, and you can be sure that when we go through every institution, um, you will see that you, the, 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 we will be able to eliminate all ghost workers thanks to the Ghana card. As a result of the Ghana card, we've made it the tax identification number for everybody. When we came into office in 2017, only 4% of adults in Ghana had a tax identification number, 4%. And you can see most of those are in the formal sector. Not many who will be registered for taxes. We said, let's make the Ghana card number the tax identification number. Immediately we did that. The number of people that have tax identification numbers have suddenly gone up from 4% to 85%. And, 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 and that is it. So now uh, the tax man knows exactly who has filed, who has not filed at any particular time. And not only do we know them, we also have their digital address, so we know where they live. So tax collection is going to take a different uh, path going forward because we now have the data. Um, fake birth certificates was a big problem you know, for, for our country, and it made it very difficult for people to trust our documents um, at embassies and everywhere because People would just go and have fake birth certificates. In fact, when we went to the uh, births and deaths registry, we found three different databases. Three different databases. We had to harmonize the databases. But once you have unique identity, you will not have fake uh, birth certificates. Uh, there will be no football age versus normal age. Uh, <laughs> that, that business will come to an end. Uh, I mean, recently, uh, you, you will know that I think our women's team was, was banned uh, for presenting some overage players. Uh, hopefully, now we are going to strictly require <laughs> that they bring their Ghana cards <laughs> before they are, they are going to be registered to play. Today, with your Ghana card, the Ghana card is, the banks are very happy with it because it gives all the KYC a bank needs. One of the problems we have had is 
for people to open bank accounts. But today, if you have a Ghana card and your mobile phone, you don't have to fill any form at all. You can just dial a USSD code and put in your Ghana card ID and a bank account will be open for you and you can start transactions immediately. So we are bringing in financial inclusion. When we came into office, the proportion of adults with bank accounts was less than 40 percent. Today, because of mobile money interoperability and the Ghana card, today we have over 90 percent of adults either having a mobile money account which is interoperable with a bank account or a bank account itself. And that is very phenomenal. We have one of the things that has really since I was at the Bank of, of Ghana, you know, one of the things that kept eating at us at the bank was the absence of a credit system in Ghana. In many countries, workers don't have to just live on their monthly paycheck because there's a credit system. If you have a, a, a regular paycheck, you will be able to get a way to buy you know, a TV on credit or a fridge on credit and all of that. A working credit system. But we don't have a credit system in Ghana. And one of the biggest obstacles to the development of a credit system was the absence of unique identity. The credit reference agencies need unique identity to do credit scoring so that they can, everybody will know what their credit score is. So if you don't pay your bills, you will have a very low credit score and they will not give you credit. If you pay your bills, you have a high credit score and you will get credit. Now, many developing countries, including Ghana, we've not had this credit system because of the absence of credit scoring. But because we have now linked all bank accounts to the Ghana card. The, the, you have linking the bank accounts to the Ghana card. You have unique identification for credit scoring. Uh, yesterday I had a meeting with the credit reference agencies and ECG as well as Ghana Water because we want to make sure those who don't pay their bills on time, uh, it will affect your credit. <laughs> so, and that is all of us, I suppose, you know, <laughs> for water and because that is where you bring discipline into the economy, discipline into the society. But thankfully this year, and I, I just know that in, in just a few months, Ghana, for the first time in our history, we will now begin a credit scoring system in our country. And this will allow credit to grow. We can tell who is the risky borrower and who is not a risky borrower. And banks can then give lower interest rates.